everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I've got something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be sharing some product that I received from the lovely guys at Arteza. They approached me and asked if I'd like to choose some product and review it. So I was super excited. They are an established company, well known, and they sell quality art and craft supplies. So I'm just showing you some pictures here of the product I chose and I'm going to go through that in a bit more detail through this tutorial. I will also be making some cards so you'll get to see what I've made at the end and I also have a discount code for you to use at the end as well if you choose to. So I got to choose this lovely collection of product here. So here I'm showing you the four water brushes. So these ones have two fine tips, one medium tip and one broad tip. They're nylon brushes and they've got a really easy barrel. Now these are very soft. So when I was using them, and again, I'll talk, to that, talk about that in more detail, they, were, they are very, very comfortable to use. So that was nice. Then I've got here the Watercolor 12 Half Premium Pans. These are really rich in colour. I was actually very surprised with these ones. And um, again, I'll go into those in, in more detail. These here are the 15 miniature brushes. This was what I was most excited about, believe it or not. These are perfect for if you like doing nail art as well, which I'm trying to do a little bit more of. But yeah, nail art, painting dolls, just the real detail parts. You get liners, rounds, flats, and you get a variety of sizes and again you'll see them throughout this video but I'm just pointing out some of those really tiny ones and they're perfect for when I'm colouring in those details on my stamps or the images that I you know with the little critters and stuff that I like to colour. Then I got the water paints these are the 24 which I've just put to the left there but you'll see them again in a moment and then I got two bumper packs of these um, watercolour papers 32 sheets cold press acid free yeah really nice really smooth one side and then obviously textured the other so it's perfect for stamping and you can drench them with water with very little warping which again you will see throughout the tutorial so i've taken all the packaging off of everything here just so you can see it a bit better and you can see now all of those colors real nice variety i do do some swatches that seems to be what everybody does however for me i just it's more about actually using them for how I will use them rather than doing a swatch but I do it and you will see that and then I show you the pans here as well just so you can see how they are again I was just really surprised with just how heavily pigmented they were a little goes a long way so they will last a very long time and they've got that lovely little compact tin you've got a little kind of overview of the colors and just yeah really easy to use and again, you can see all the brushes there. Now, when you use these, give them a little wipe in water first because there will be like a almost like a slimy residue on the ends. You get that on a lot of brushes. That's obviously just from the factories. So just go through, kind of rub it between your finger and your thumb and just take that off. And again, when you get through, get any of these pens here, the water brushes, you'll always find some of them are quite stiff to start with. Just break them up. Again, it's just where they've come from the factory and just give them a kind of um, wipe through some, you know, clean water and they will be as good as new and ready to use so now i'm just swatching all of these colors because that's what everybody does when they do these videos so i thought i best do it as well <laughs> but i will start making a card after this so you can just see here all of the colors and um, i've named them all above there as well all of this will be shared in my blog so you'll be able to get a better idea but i found them to be highly pigmented really nice colors yeah i mean what more can i say what my needs for them is very different to a watercolor artist you know um somebody that does this on more of a professional level i like it for stamping my stamped images and then coloring them in so watercolor is my preferred medium i find it easy to use and easy to manage and work which is why i chose these when arteza approached me so i'm giving it to you my review is more on a i guess a kind of a beginner level in the sense of knowledge towards watercolors but for my needs it's very different to a artist's needs because i don't class myself as an artist because that's not what i do i don't paint pictures freehand with these i just stamp images and then i like to color them in and i think these are going to be really nice there's a really good variety of colors they blend really nicely which you will see when i start to use them and yeah, that's that's my need. So for you guys that follow me who are stampers and paper crafters and you like to, you know, do the odd bit of water colouring, then that's what I'm showing you here because that's how I'm going to be using these. So I love that colour there, that rose. That was one of my favourite colours that you can just see there that I swatched. Now also what I did do is the... 
what did I have? I had scarlet red and then I had, yeah, vermilion red, vermilion red. And I, when I started doing it, I thought, that's really brown. That's not right. Well, anyway, I ended up putting burnt sienna there instead. So you'll see I popped it to the right hand side, the, the true red that was meant to be there. And I will swatch that on the next, next page in a moment. So again, I also loved the violet and the pale mauve colour there. They were really nice as well. And all the blues, really nice. They are slightly different shades. Sometimes they didn't pick up that different here I guess in this video but I really liked them um, and I think the next one I do on this, the follow, following page or maybe it was this one the aquamarine blue I found that to be really nice no it's the cobalt blue you'll see that one in a moment I really liked this one just thought it was really rich again it's kind of hard to see in a video you know in true life it's much different but um, really did like that one and then yeah just doing the other ones here they had some really nice greens that I start bringing in as well so I think there's enough variety in that 24 pack for you to get a really nice mix of, you know, tones, different colours and stuff. So yeah, the sap green, the light green and the deep green. Just thought they were really nice. So perfect for when I'm doing my backgrounds and I want to do like a grass and then going into like the sky backgrounds. I do a sky one in the card in this tutorial or this video, but I will certainly be using these greens. And it's just easy to use. I put it on my silicone mat, very small amount. I've literally squeezed out the tiniest amount. It goes such a long way. And then afterwards I can just wipe that mat down, roll it up and I'm good to go again. So yeah, it's just my chosen way to, to use these. And then this is the Noir, which again was a really nice, yep, very deep black. You can see you get full coverage there and then just pull it out and you go down into a nice, you know, gray color. And then this is that red that I put in the wrong order but you can see the difference it's so much brighter but yeah if I just bring them up there you can see all the different ones I guess the browns were a bit like the raw umber the burnt umber and then I think I could show you next a comparison well, not a comparison but I put it next to the other yeah I'm just bringing it up now what one was it yeah burnt sienna and burnt umber didn't really see much of a difference but that's just me so the raw umber burnt umber burnt sienna Oh yeah, bit bit of a muchness really. Didn't really see too much of a difference there. But the greens, the reds, the yellows, orange, and the blues, and even those pinks, the reds, yeah, everything else really I thought were really nice mixes. So certainly tons to use and play with there. You can just see in a bit more detail those other colours. So yeah, that's my swatches. That's how I <laughs> look at them. <laughs> I did cut them all down um, and I've put them on a little ring pull just so I've got them there at hand, just so I can kind of see, you know, when I do go to use them, if there's one that I want to match up or something. So now I'm going to start using them how I want to use them. So for me, this is the real kind of test and how I feel if they're going to work for my needs. So I've stamped out these really lovely stamps from the Creative Stamping Magazine and for me, it's all about blending and being able to lift the colour once I've laid it down. So I don't know if you saw just at the beginning on the dog to the left hand side, I actually went over the outer line and I was able to lift that colour up quite well. There's a very small, faint kind of brown that's over got, you know, that's overlapped, but I will be able to cut that out. So that for me is a bonus and something I like in a watercolour is to be able to lift it well off of the card. So that's something I like to others that might not be something but I think if you make a mistake or you go over the edges it's nice to be able to lift that colour off again so yeah they do lift and also when they go dry you're able to go back into them again add some water and you'll be able to you know play with them again so that's always good so now I'm just going through all of these I'm not going to talk over all this now I'm going to leave it with some music just so you can see me colouring and then I'll be back again after.
so I'm bringing in the noir color and I've just got the one of the smaller of the premium brushes there and they are exactly what I wanted they are so small to be able to really add that detail to the images and it just really finished off these stamp sets so this is the card that I made I love the chair I really like how that's come off and you can see that isn't highlight on the chair on the arms that is just me lifting it off so yeah for me I found that to be really really good and these paints worked well for the need and for what I wanted so now I'm going to do a swatch with the 12 premium half pan watercolors so these are really really rich in color very highly pigmented and so much so that this next yellow now that I'm bringing in just kept going going and going and going <laughs> there was so much now I will say that these water brushes compared to other water brushes that I've got these really like they can the water's controlled but you only need to very slightly move that brush and the water comes out so I do have to kind of play with them a little bit more just to get used to that. I think I'm so used to the other brushes I use where I had to maybe squeeze them a little bit too much to get the water out. Whereas with these, all you need to do is just squeeze them ever so slightly. And you can see that paper is saturated. Um, but it was, um, yeah, it was still fun to use. And you can just see how much colour comes out of them. But I was really kind of moving them around. But look at that lovely blend there. You've got that deep blue at the top going down to the lighter. Perfect for backgrounds. So again, these brushes, this took me no time at all to do. And you can see how saturated that kitchen towel is on my left, where I was just rinsing out the brush each time. So yeah, I thought the colours were really nice. I think there was a, yeah, a decent amount of a, a mix there. You can see there was nothing really, I guess, too similar. They were all quite different. I really love the green on the right hand side, top right, which is the jade green, which you'll see in a moment. That I think is going to be perfect for when I do my underwater themed cards, because I'm always looking for a really nice, more of a that aqua green, that aqua green, yeah, blue colour, I guess. You see here, this one there on the right hand side, love that. I just think that is such a nice colour. So that's definitely going to be used. And um, again, it's perfect for quick backgrounds. So you've got that grey brown on the left there. So yeah, again, seems nice enough. <laughs> so now I'm going to make a card. So this is a woodware, I oh, can't remember the name of this one, but again, all the links to everything will be shared. But I'm just stamping this in some VersaFine in black. And then I am coming in now with all the different colours. So I'm going to try and use every colour in the pan. Maybe I wouldn't use all those colours for this particular stamped image, but um, yeah, still fun to do. So Again, I'm going to stop talking now, just leave the music going and you can just watch me watercolour this one and I will be back at the end. So now I'm just finishing off this image with the fine paintbrush. This was pretty much the smallest one. I will look back and I will share the links to the, the ones that I preferred the most in my blog post. But um, you can see now I'm just coming in with more of the raw watercolour. So I'm not adding so much water anymore. It's just that heavy pigmented colour. And it I think it looked great and it really did make this image pop. You can see I'm bringing in the, the dark green now just to start to create some more depth to the image and start blending that out slightly but this brush just gave me so much control I absolutely loved it and there's the final card so I done a wash behind with the with the Prussian blue which looked really nice and that was so easy and quick to do 
and then just um, matte and layered that on my 5x7 card base. Added the image with some foam adhesive and then some of those crystal embellishments and I think that turned out lovely. So here's my little kind of swatch ring that I made up. So it's just handy. I've got a little overview now of the colours and I can just keep that hanging on my desk and it's just a, a good little thing to go to I guess if I need to and I want to match anything up and then just kind of a, a last kind of overview of everything um, that I've used today so this is the 24 of those watercolors these are the 12 mil tubes so they're quick dry reusable they're ACMI certified so it makes them 100% safe as well if that's all things that you would like to know Again, Arteza have so much information on their website. It is packed full of inspiration and the guys are always there to help as well. So they've been great with the run up to this video, helping out with any queries that I had. So yeah, thanks a lot guys. And again, thank you for sending me this product. And there is the 12 of those premium watercolors as well. I do really like this. It's gonna be handy for when I'm traveling and when I'm going to visit family, I can take that with me with the water brushes, a couple of those little detailed fine line brushes and you know I'm good to go again there are four I think that must have rolled off my desk and I forgot but you get a real nice mix you get the the large then this medium size then there's one in between that and then that small one but found them really easy to use like I said very very soft so you do need to just get used to the control of that because all it takes is a little squeeze and the water does come out so just bear that one in mind and then these quite possibly are my favorite thing from everything sent to me because I just love the variety of sizes that you get with these and um, they've been brilliant and they, I think they've just given me that extra bit that I needed now when it comes to the detail in my stamped images so love them and then this watercolor paper I go through a lot of watercolor paper because watercoloring images is my kind of thing I'd maybe do more off camera it's not something I share heavily because I like to do that in my downtime so this will be something that I use a lot and then again just bringing up those two cards very different I wanted to show you two kind of different styles you've got that floral blended look and then you've got that that fun one with the dogs there but I love both of them equally and they were both really easy to do so like I said if you're unsure about watercolors or you don't you want to start doing coloring but you don't know what mediums to use for me it's watercoloring I'm not an alcohol marker person oil paints just I'm just too impatient they just take too long to dry acrylics yes I don't mind but for me it's all about the watercolors and I really enjoyed using these so I hope you found this in information helpful in some way if, if if anything it's just giving you an introduction to our taser now there will be a discount code shared below so if you click in the description box you will find all the links and the discount code so if you do want to go and look on their website please pop that in and um, yeah that's everything from me today guys and i'll be back again soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye